It's no secret that the last few E3, Sony has had some really strong presentations, and hopefully this year is no different. Sony will make continued all-out efforts to live up to your confidence and expectations. Now, something that's a little interesting they're doing this time is that while most companies are remaining somewhat tight-lipped about what they're going to talk about or just doing little hints here and there, Sony's been fairly upfront about what their conference is going to be about. They have said specifically that they're not really going to talk about hardware this year, and they're going to focus on four games in particular. This doesn't mean that those are the only four games we're going to talk about. These are going to take up the most time at the show. They've got the lead right now as far as them versus Xbox goes. I think out of the three press conferences, Sony has the lowest chance of premiering a lot of new stuff, but hopefully what they reveal is going to be really strong. Now, before we talk about the press conference itself, one thing I want to bring up is that like last year, Sony is once again going to be doing days of play. That's a little kind of celebration they do for E3 where right before E3 starts, they're going to do a whole bunch of sales on major PlayStation games. They're going to do hardware sales, and I think one of the most cool parts about it is that they're actually going to release once again a special edition PS4. Last year they had the gold and silver designs for the Slim. This time they're doing a PS4 Slim that's with a one terabyte hard drive and is a blue design with this gold PlayStation symbol thing going on the front which looks really nice. By the way, if you really like the look of the blue on the new Days of Play PS4 but you don't really care for the gold symbols or you want it in a pro or you already have a PS4 and you don't want to spend 300 bucks just to get a different design, there's a really easy way to do it yourself thanks to today's sponsor Dbrand. You can actually get one of their skins, which comes in basically the same blue actually right here, and put it on your PS4 Slim or PS4 Pro for way less than buying a brand new system. And if you've got a Switch, they actually just came out with new skins for the Switch that aren't going to damage the paint job and look really nice. The focus is going to be on games, and like I said earlier, there are four main ones that Sony plans on spending a lot of time on. First up is The Last of Us Part 2. Now we've seen a couple trailers for this guy already, but there is a lot we still don't know about this game that's hopefully going to be illuminated this time. We've got a couple trailers that each focus on different characters. We don't entirely know how it ties to the first one just yet, other than obviously Ellie is going to be in it, but whether or not any plot from the first game carries over beyond just her. We've seen no gameplay yet, so hopefully we're going to see some actual stuff and maybe even see if there's any major changes to the game design versus what we saw in the original. Next is Ghost of Tsushima. Now, if you haven't heard about that one, that was announced at PSX late last year, and it's the newest game coming from Sucker Punch. So, sadly, we're not getting a new Infamous just yet, which I was kind of hoping for, but this game's looking really cool, too. It's supposed to be a historically accurate free roam game where you play as a samurai, kind of as a ninja, though, based on at least what we saw in the last trailer. Uh, really interesting to see how that game's actually going to handle and play, because right now we just kind of have teaser shots of at least the setting. Third up is the biggest license game that Sony is going to have as an exclusive for this year, and that is, of course, Spider-Man from Insomniac Games. Now, of the four they're going to focus on, I feel like this one's going to be the least, mainly because we actually saw quite a bit of it at last year's E3. We got a trailer that not only showcased some of the plot, but also a good bit of gameplay, go more so than any of the other games on this list. So we're hopefully going to see a little more in-depth, a little more actual explanation, and not just gameplay without context, but... Of the games on this list, we know the most of this guy, so hopefully we just get that little bit of info and we focus on the others. And then of course the fourth game they're going to talk about, and probably the most hyped, mysterious, extremely strange game on the list is of course Death Stranding coming from Hideo Kojima. Now we have had a number of trailers on this game and we have a vague idea of what it's about. It's pretty intense. It's pretty all over the place. Uh, I mean, if you've seen any of the trailers, you know what I'm talking about. There's babies and whale bones and rain that makes you immediately age and disintegrate. There's just a lot going on with this game, which a lot of people are excited because it is a Kojima product, but at the same time, we know nothing of the actual gameplay still. So hopefully this is the year that we finally kind of break down those doors and see what this game is really about. Now these are the four games that they're going to focus on, but that doesn't mean those are the only games they're going to talk about at all. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we know is coming to the PlayStation that has not been released yet. As far as first party stuff goes, we're going to at least see a trailer for Days Gone, even if they're not going to go in depth on it. And I'd be really surprised if they had a press conference without any brand new games to announce that are first hand. Whether that's some more HD remasters, which Sony has been doing a lot of, or hopefully one new project. I mean, most of their main studios are still busy right now or just release stuff. I mean, obviously God of War just came out from Santa Monica. Uh, Last of Us is still being worked on by Naughty Dog. So if there's one company they have that could maybe make at least a new teaser announcement for something, I think it's Guerrilla. They released Horizon Zero Dawn, so the timing's right to at least tease either the second one of those or maybe even another brand new IP. Personally, if they do announce something, I'm kind of hoping it's not another kill zone because if Horizon Zero Dawn proves anything, 
they should just make other new IPs because that was really cool. And then of course, there's gonna be some time for third party companies as well. Now there's some that are having their own press conferences but could still at least make an appearance at Sony because it has been proven by history that lots of times games will make trailers at multiple press conferences just to kind of get hype on all fronts. Square Enix of course has FF7 Remake happening for PlayStation at least timed exclusive. So hopefully we get some more info on that. Kingdom Hearts 3 could maybe be exclusive to a Square Enix presentation since that is gonna be a multi-platform game. Uh, I hopefully we're gonna see something from Capcom as well because they do have some new stuff in the works. They work a lot with Sony and at this point, I really just need Devil May Cry 5 actually announced or some kind of spiritual successor because that series needs to come back. One thing that I'm really hoping to see some more info at at Sony's press conference is whatever FromSoft is working on. They obviously just released the remastered version of the first Dark Souls. They're kind of done with the main Dark Souls line for now, but they did tease something back at last year's VGAs, which could maybe be a Bloodborne 2, but more likely is some other new IP that is hopefully gonna be using the same kind of formula as the Soulsborne games. Now, there's no guarantee that what they are working on is a Sony exclusive that wasn't really talked about in the teaser they did, but considering how well Bloodborne did on the PlayStation 4 as an exclusive, I would think Sony is gonna push for some other new title to come from them for PS4 because Bloodborne was amazing and I just need more stuff from FromSoft.